Hey everybody, today we're going to check out Subdivine and the expansion packs available for it. This is a plugin from DigiNoise. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. Alright, so here is Subdivine. It's a standalone VST plugin, so no contact or anything. It's not a sample library. So we have a few different expansion packs that are included with our bundle. We have analog, digital, more about that bass, one and two. So let's check out some of the sounds. You can see the interface here. It's fairly straightforward. We have attack, decay, sustain, release controls. This in the center controls the drive. You can do it pre or post, so before the uh, signal or after. And then we also have the drive adjustment here, as well as six or seven different types. Uh, which will alter the sound of the distortion, the overdrive available for that, just slightly saturated sound, or you can just totally go crazy with it. So we'll check that out and a lot of the presets. If you've been noticing, you know, if you really want a clean sound, turn the drive completely off. I mean, these are really nice for the sub bass. Some of them have more of an attack. You can use it as a kick as well. Some of them have a little bit of modulation going in um, as you hold down the key. And then if you really want to get that more aggressive, overdriven sound, just turn on the drive and experiment with the different types.
So you hear me kind of messing with that, um, this knob here, the glide, which is just the portamento time. Um, and you also saw me kind of doing some little uh, sweeps with the low pass filter, the frequency. So just showing you kind of like how to do sound design type stuff with this. Um, you know, if you want to do like an epic downer, for instance, like for a trailer type sound, turn the glide up and so we have a nice kind of overdriven sound with the drive there and then turn on the bandpass filter and you can automate this uh, within an automation lane right here or you can just you know do it like I'm doing now and kind of just adjusting it with the mouse and do something like this <laughs> So the glide time is long enough and you can get something that has, you know, more of an attack and get a big hit and then drop that down to the lowest octave and adjusting the bandpass filter at the same time. You can get some pretty cool effects there. So this uh, plugin has monstrous sub bass frequencies. Some of these you might not even be able to hear unless you have good headphones or a subwoofer. So that was just a quick look at Subdivine. You hear what the sounds are like, very bassy, obviously, sub bass, but they can get very aggressive with the drive. And you have some flexibility with the ADSR controls here, as well as seven different types of overdrive and the option to adjust the overdrive in the signal chain from pre to post. So that was a quick look at it. You can get an idea for what it sounds like and what you can do with it. Um, great for hip hop, great for beats, great for dubstep, and also great for cinematic if you want to get into some sound design for creating your own drops and downers and stuff like that. So thanks for checking it out with me and I will see you guys next time.